Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. Somebody has a lot of pent up anger, it feels like. like um, be careful with somebody being a little bit vindictive. So the other card, the other deck that I'm using is this deck, and then you see at the bottom here is a star. So somebody is angry that you are happy. You're, you know, I don't know. This could have something to do with your appearance, with your financial blessings, your abundance, your relationship. Somebody is just, this is some kind of jealousy or envy here, though. Somebody is in their ego, travel. This person could live at a distance from you. Or somebody is angry that you're you're going to the next level. Marriage. Okay, there you have it. Playfulness. It's very clear. So you're just enjoying the simple things in life right now. You could be attracting things that are going to bring you long-term success. You could be attracting a long-term partner, something that could lead to marriage. This also could be a married person with playfulness being here. This could be, oh, oh, okay, yeah. For some of you, you have a person who is possibly married or in a commitment. They could live at a distance from you. This person wants to play around with you. You are manifesting um, a life partner. This person who perhaps is already married or involved, this person wants to be able to come in and enjoy life with you in some type of way. Yeah. This is somebody that they want to take you out and, you know, maybe take you on a trip or something like that. They want to have trips and vacations and breaks with you, but they don't, they're not looking for a commitment. But they're upset about the fact that you now are looking for a commitment. This could be someone that right now you're not really talking to or communicating with. Yeah. Somebody sees that you're a rare gift. Wow. Somebody also may know that you have a rare gift that allows you to attract. Because this is like a golden egg. You're, yeah, look, the star and the six of wands. So somebody knows that you have a rare gift perhaps to attract wealth. You may be someone who can easily attract um, wealthy and powerful people. Somebody wants you on their team. I'm, I'm picking up for some of you. You're attracting this type of person. Someone could be in the public eye or something like that. Like you could be attracting someone like that or someone has their eye on you. But you also have someone in your energy that could be angry that you're attracting this type of person. So this could be someone from like in your life or even the life of a person that you're connecting with. Somebody out here though is some like um in the spotlight somehow. They're popular. They have a following. Like I said, they could be a public figure or something. They may travel a lot. This could be someone who is married or somebody who I'm picking up I'm picking up two different people. I'm picking up a feminine, I'm picking up a, a, a masculine. So this could really be like about a couple. There is somebody out here who saw themselves marrying someone and it didn't happen because someone is now connecting with you. That's a feminine that I'm seeing. I'm seeing I'm seeing a feminine who wanted to marry a masculine. They're upset that the masculine is with you, but I'm seeing for some there's a masculine who is married. Who wants to play around with that divine feminine who has now connected with this, this masculine who has an ex. That there, so it's like two divine beings here both are trying to escape the matrix that has their karmic exes in it. It's how I'm seeing it. Let's get into it. Yeah, up in the air. A situation is up in the air.
So you could have been uncertain about something here. So somebody here is angry because they left the situation up in the air. This situation didn't bring you any kind of stability. So yeah, you have here the phoenix and the man. You decided to be the phoenix rising from, from the ashes when it comes to dealing with this situation with this man who keeps leaving things up in the air. You're moving forward and away from this situation. And so now you're like I said, you're you're attracting wealth, you're attracting love, you're manifesting something in your life that's gonna bring you the security and the stability that this person would not actually offer you. Look, you have your crystal ball and dating. So somebody is looking into your life and it's making them very upset. And this card even says love life is blocked. So somebody is looking into a crystal ball or doing some kind of divination spying, um, utilize some kind of occult or like esoteric knowledge here to find out. They're trying to find out. Somebody wants to know specifically who you're dating. This is really bothering somebody. Somebody really wants to know who are you connecting with? Who are you dating? Yeah. Because you've taken your love, your love away from them. It's because this person left you at a crossroads. But I said before, I'm picking up like a karmic man and woman. Now you have the woman card out here. This is like a battle of the, the karmic exes. Some of you, you could have a connection that has recently, you've made it public. And, and you have a lot of people right now who are really looking into your life. They're trying to figure out who you are or who your person is. For some of you, your relationship, it may not be public, but somebody is spying on you some type of way. They're hacking into your devices or they're doing some kind of divination spying where they're really trying to find out who exactly are you, who are you traveling with? Who are you in this commitment with? They want to know. I cannot believe the last few weeks, the type of, <laughs> the level of obsession of, of people's love lives is just like crazy to me. It seems like that's all people want to know about. It's like other people's love life. And for many of you who, you know, the queen of wands, again, that's a popular person. Somebody is sexy. They're confident. They're popular. They may be a creator, an influencer of some sort, the will of fortune. They're receiving good karma. Somebody wants to know who you are or who this person is that you're dealing with. Yeah, the two of wands and the seven of swords. The two of wands is in the reverse, though. Somebody right now is trying to figure out a, a way to... Somebody is hiding the... Like, I don't know. Like It's like somebody is trying to cover up the fact that they're actually take, trying to take action to go towards somebody. The Seven of Swords here and the Three of Cups and then the Emperor. I feel like this is like a feminine who is trying to hide the fact that they're trying to actually reconnect with a masculine. Because they want to work on this situation. They want to work on the situation because this masculine is now dealing with a, femi a, a divine feminine. So this is a, a, a divine feminine and masculine who are mirroring one another. Both of you have a karmic ex that's trying to re-enter your life. All these cards just fell out. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is a burden to somebody. Wow, Eight of Cups and the Sun. Somebody is very much invested in trying to create burdens to make you walk away from a situation or let go. The Eight of Cups also is a card of travel. The Queen of Wands is here with the Eight of Cups. So, the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. It's like for somebody out here, it's like you've walked away from a situation and you're, you're walking right into happiness. Like, You have clarity, fulfillment, you're receiving good karma, good luck. But somebody was trying to create some kind of burden for you.
Ten of Pentacles, yeah. And here's the Four of Wands, but the Two of Wands is in the reverse. Somebody is being blocked by the divine because they're trying to go into a connection with someone mainly for money. That's why somebody is being blocked. I don't know if this is happening to the divine feminine or masculine. Somebody is being blocked from someone's life though because it's like your spirit team, God knows that you have a very rare gift to manifest abundance. And somebody does not, they didn't want to commit to you or you're dealing with somebody now. They don't want to commit to you. They want to commit to you because they want to marry into money or they want a windfall of abundance. For one, somebody is trying to arrange a marriage or situation because they want money or security or stability. Yeah, the four of swords is here and the ace of pentacles. It's like somebody wants to just chill and, and watch the money come in. <laughs> this is a goal. Like, yeah, somebody is wanting to sit down. They want to rest. They want to travel. Like, somebody likes the idea of a person and that's it. They, they want to sit down. They want to They want to travel. They think you're sexy. You're fun. All of that. But the two of wands in the verse and the four of swords. Somebody can't move forward. And this is this is somebody stressed out. I mean, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. This right here is like legacy. It's a windfall of abundance. It's security, stability. It's marriage. It's everything. So this is for somebody here like going into a connection with somebody who really, really has things together or they have a very promising future. Yeah, the Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Emperor. And the emperor could be a man, a man or woman, but somebody is trying to come up with a plan on how they can celebrate or reunite with a person so that they can have a part in their stability. I'm trying to see, is it possible that somebody wants to come into your life so that they can give you stability? Or is it somebody trying to steal from you? Because I'm picking up two different energies. You could be just, you could be refusing to take a step towards a person that actually wants to give you all like wealth and security and stability. Somebody that you walked away from. I'm picking that up too. Hmm. Let's see. The Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. So the real I feel like the reason why I'm picking up both of those energies like that is because again, you have a person. There's somebody in this reading for sure, whether it's you or someone you dealt with in the past or you're currently dealing with. There is something out here about wealth, about a rare gift to uh, like get money or abundance. But the five of wands is here. Somebody is competing. So again, a lot of you watching are in the divine feminine energy. You guys either, you could have been with somebody in the past who was maybe wealthy, well off, but they weren't generous with you. You have somebody that's in your life now or coming into your life who may be well off or on their way to becoming very abundant or wealthy. They're going to be very generous with you. This person is competing. They don't want you to receive this offer. It's like somebody doesn't want you to see that somebody is going to treat you much better than they did. Okay? Okay. And then it's also the energy of a possibly a feminine that is competing with the, another feminine because they're like, oh, wow, you're about to be in a connection with someone who has a very promising future or a masculine who's already abundant 
And I would like to be the person that reaps the benefits and the rewards of being with this wealthy person. So there, there's a lot of fighting over an offer from someone who either is already very wealthy or they're they're on the ladder to success to becoming very wealthy. Somebody is aware of a person's gift or somebody is aware of what someone is going to receive once they become married to a particular person. I feel, to be honest, like there's a divine feminine and masculine out here who both have a very, very promising future. That's the reason why people from your past have been holding on to you so tightly because they know what you are destined to manifest. Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups. And here's the Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> this is really weird because I'm, I'm going to be honest. There's a person out here that is planning to give you the world. The Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. King of Wands, the Magician. The Moon, the Hangman, some, the World. Temperance, Two of Cups. Oh my gosh. Somebody is planning to like marry you. Listen, they will fly you all over the world. Like they want to give you everything. It's right. The Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. Somebody is hiding this though. They're like they're they may be somebody has not told you that this is the plan that they have for you. I can't make this negative. I mean, you have there's somebody that's around you, or just in your mind, you're afraid that somebody does not have good plans for you because you've been maybe tricked or swindled by somebody in the past. But somebody out here. Maybe that's where this anger comes from. You have some unresolved trauma, PTSD, or pent-up anger from a, a past situation. But what's coming in the future is somebody is making plans to give you like the like, like the world. Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups. You can't make this negative even if you try to. Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Knight of Wands. The king of wands, this person is coming in with an offer. And this is a person who is a natural born leader. They're a visionary. This person has a, they have goals, they have drink, they have a vision for their life. And they're seeing you as part of it. The magician is here. This person is manifesting this. But this person is, I'm, <laughs> the moon. This person is manifesting something major. The magician is here with the moon. This isn't anything dark, though. This moon and magician is somebody right now is creating the life that they dream of. This person has very vivid dreams about the life they want, and they're they're actively working on it and manifesting it. So this person right now, while the seven of swords is here and the hangman is, they're making a lot of sacrifices in their life. To give you this. So let me say this. Yeah, you have the world, the temperance here, and the two of cups. Somebody here is leaving a lot of things behind in order to have the life that they want, and they're going to share this life with you. So you hear people say jokingly, do you want to cry in a Bentley or do you want to cry in a, would you rather cry in a Honda or a Bentley? Okay, that's what this is right here that I'm seeing. But let me tell you how many people tend to judge a book by its cover. Before I just said, you have some people who are wealthy, but they're not generous. A lot of people will go for a person in the Bentley and say, well, I would rather cry in a Bentley than a Honda. But you may deal with a lot of stuff, and this is not to say that people who are wealthy are, are bad people. It just it depends on a person's character. Not just because material things can change. It's circumstantial and conditional things. They can change. It's a person's character. This right here feels like somebody here. It's like you've probably cried in the Bentley with somebody before. It's, it's, it's like a person is coming in now and they're hiding their wealth. Or they're hiding the fact that they have this rare gift. They're hiding this in a way. 
or this person knows in the future they're working on something and they know in the future it's going to pay off. This is the kind of person you're not going to go to this person because they have a, 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 a nice car or home or whatever. This is somebody that's coming in your life and they are saying they're going to make sure that you, this is the kind of person, they're saying, I'll drive a Honda and I'll put you in a Bentley. And that's why you have the seven of swords here and a hangman. This person is willing to make sacrifices in order for you to have a certain lifestyle with them. This is somebody who is preparing the life for you. But I'll be honest with you. You have to know how to deal with this type of person. Because this person was looking for somebody that is very, very loyal. Everything that they're planning to give you, they're testing you. I'm gonna be, I'll be honest, they're testing you. This is somebody that wants to see, are you okay in a Honda? If they see you're okay in a Honda, I'm telling you. They won't put themselves in the Bentley. They'll put you in the Bentley. It's that type of energy. This person is smart. They're very smart. Loyal. Committed. And then the man is here next to the Phoenix. This person could be coming out of a situation right now themselves. Where they're coming out of something that was destructive. They, this could be the end of a cycle of a lot of despair where their life has kind of been up in the air. But this person knows that they have a rare gift. They know that something in their future is very promising. This person could actually have some type of spiritual gift themselves. Because the man is here, Phoenix, Crystal Ball. Then you have dating and crossroads. Coldness and woman. This person also, they try to look in the, oh, I got it. This person is trying to see if in the future, if they're dating you and they happen to reach a, a point in their life where there's a crossroads. Will you become cold? Will you turn your back on them? This person, whoever this is, they're going to make very sure that before they share this wealth and they create this life for themselves and a life for the person that they choose, that you're loyal. Somebody out here, you're being tested. And it's, you have to be careful because you've probably been with somebody in a very similar energy. Or maybe you've been with other people who are wealthy or whatever. But they didn't have the same character. This person is looking for true love and loyalty. They're not looking for a trophy. No, this person wants to be married. But with marriage and playfulness, this person wants to marry somebody that they consider like their best friend. They don't... They don't want the relationship to be based on the fact that for whatever reason like that, they can manifest wealth. They don't want that. No. They want to live a normal, quiet life. No matter how much money they have. And for some of you, they have money now or they have money coming in the future. But they're picking their partner based on who's going to be there, whether they are in a Honda or a Bentley. If they see that you won't be there in a Honda, you will not get in a Bentley with this person. They're not playing that type of game. Some of you, though, you have anger because you've been wronged by somebody in the past. Who probably breadcrumbed you, whether they were broke or wealthy, they breadcrumbed you. This person, they're testing you. I don't want to say like they're testing you like they're playing a game, but this person, they're considering you for marriage. They, they are. This is somebody who is of, of high value. It doesn't matter what they have right now or what they had in the past. This person has very strong morals and values. And I'm telling you, 
they really, really value loyalty. They want real love. This person, believe they haven't given up on the idea that they can have true love no matter what they have or what they're, they're going to have. They still feel that they should be able to enjoy life's riches and true love. They want the real deal. Wow. I, it, it was getting, I was like, wait a minute. There, there is an energy here. And that's why the five of wands is here. It, it may be hard for you to accept that a person is coming at you with this type of energy because of what you've gone through before. But you also could have an ex or somebody that is trying to compete. You can have an ex that's trying to block you from this offer. But this person you're connecting with could also have an ex that's trying to block you. Or both. There's something of great value about this person, about you and this connection. Is definitely being attacked. Page of Wands. Four of Cups in the reverse. It's like you have exciting news coming in. The Four of Cups in the reverse. There's some news coming in that's going to make it clear that like you don't have to be detached or in this energy of feeling like you're missing opportunities. Also, the Four of Cups sometimes can be like you can't see something. So with the Four of Cups being in the verse in the page of Wands, there's some kind of message that's coming in. Yeah, the Three of Wands that's going to clarify and confirm what somebody's goals are. This person is about to do something new. You're going to notice something new about a person. It could be they're, they're starting a new job, a new company. They're going to do something new that's going to give you a sign. Or they're going to say or so, do something new that's going to let you know they're planning a future for you. But this person is not coming out right and saying, hey, I want us to get married. I want us to do. No. They're not coming out right saying that because they're still watching and monitoring things that you're doing. But I feel like you're about to start noticing that as they make new discoveries, it's something about this person in business. As they manifest things, they're taking you along with them. The tower is in the reverse. Yeah. It's an inevitable change here. Something may come about suddenly. It, it's a, a change. It is some kind of upheaval. Yeah, but this could even be like with travel. Like this person may all of a sudden be like, you know, I have to travel. I have to relocate. They're going to ask you, can you go with me? And you'll be like, what? Something is going to happen. I'm telling you. This could be down the, this could be down the line in the future. Something is going to happen, especially within the next three to four weeks or months. Something can happen. And you may look at it like, oh my goodness, this is a setback. This is the kind of person, though, because I see the nine of wands here. Even if there is a setback, yeah, it could be even a financial setback. You're going to see how this person operates. This person, even if they have a financial setback, you're still going to see them put in work. You're still going to see them be consistent with you. You're still going to see them. You're going to know that like they're all in. There's some kind of crisis here, though. There is some kind of crisis that has happened or it will. 
something could have happened in the past or it's coming up. I don't know because I did just see the Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Here's a Justice card. And the King of Swords. Wow. And the Fool. Some of you, a person has been dealing with a legal situation. And they're about to be free from something that has caused them to have some kind of restriction. This could be anything. It could be, you know, they owe back taxes. It could be a bankruptcy. It could be a tax lien. It could be, um, I'm not getting divorced, but it's something, that, it's some kind of legality. The justice and the king of swords here and the fool. For some of you, this person could even have something in their record or their past. It could have to do with um, some type of probation. I don't know. It's something, though, that had this person uh, restricted. Ten of swords. This person was at rock bottom. So you're dealing with a person. Wow. And here's the lovers. So let, let me just tell you what I'm getting here. This is I'm getting a lot of just intuitive messages. You guys are dealing with somebody. I don't know if this is a past person for you or somebody new. It doesn't matter. You're dealing with somebody who has gone through some type of battle in their life. There's been some kind of crisis. It could be a legal situation. Um, it could have to do with their finances. This person could have gone through a lawsuit. It could have been whatever. It could have been a nasty divorce. What's another legal situation? It could be citizenship for somebody. It could be anything. This person, despite whatever is going on in their life, or this could be you, they are just seeing you as a person that they want to give the world to. This person has some type of rare gift, okay? There, there, there's an opportunity that's coming up and they're gonna, when they seize this opportunity, when an opportunity presents itself to this person, they're gonna take off quickly. This person could be into investments or something. This energy has come out before. Several months ago, I can remember a very similar reading. This person, I'm they could have intuitive gifts or they have like a, a psychic intuitive or somebody that they consult with from time to time. This person, they know that something very big is coming in for them. And it's something big financially. Like something that's going to make them wealthy. This person is working on an idea. This could have to do with real estate. Like this person could flip houses or something. And they're like it's something they're gonna do. It's gonna start. So it's flip. They're flipping something, whether it's property, cars, just stocks, bonds. So this person is gonna start something very small. And I'm telling you, because of this rare gift that they have to manifest abundance, it's gonna quickly take off. This person could start a business, and it's gonna like if they start selling a product, it's gonna sell out quickly. Or they could start. Something online, a public figure with the star card, six of wands or the platform, it's going to go viral, like instantly. This person is something about their look and they know this already. Or this could even be somebody that knows that they're going to, they're going to receive some kind of trust or inheritance. They, like they know this. It's, I'm telling you, somebody knows about a lot of money coming in. From something that they worked on or that their family has. With that Ten of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands, this person also, oh, this person also could be hiding the fact that they come from a very wealthy family. Because in this particular deck, the Ten of Pentacles, it even says marrying into money. Legacy, windfall, business, empire. The Ten of Pentacles is here with the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Four of Swords. This person, I'm y'all, this is a very specific message, but when I tell you I'm getting chills. 
whoever this person is, they know that once they marry you, for some of you, you would never have to work another day in your life. I'm telling you, this is not everybody's story. It's not. But for some of you, this person, they know that they have some kind of inheritance or a windfall of abundance coming from some type of business venture. Or this person with the seven of swords, they're hiding the fact that they're wealthy or they come from a very wealthy family. They're not trying to marry for wealth. They want to truly marry for love. This person is hiding wealth. I think it, I think this person's family may be wealthy. But they're going to inherit something that's going to make them wealthy or they're working on something. This is the kind of person they don't want any kind of handouts. They're um So I, I said before citizenship. I'm actually picking up the movie. I think it's called The Proposal. Is her name Sandra Bullock or something like that? Where she married a guy. It was like a fake proposal so that she could, I guess, remain a citizen in the U United States or something. She met this guy. I think he worked with her or something like that. She thought he was just an average Joe. Turns out like she went to his family's house. His family was very wealthy. She had no idea. She, cause she was like an editor or something. She, like, she was well off, and she thought that he was, you know, just very common. And he told her, "My family is rich. I'm not rich." He wasn't trying to act as if he was wealthy, but his family was. He he had gotten away from, you know, he was trying to get away from like the family name or whatever. They ended up like, you know, falling in love and it was, you know, it was a happily ever after life story. But this is something like that, I feel. Take that however it resonates. Some of you might be familiar with the movie or not. You can always find it. But somebody is hiding something about for like their wealth and or their spiritual gifts. The lovers is here. Yeah, this is going to take some strength from you. <laughs> Queen of Swords, the Death card, and the Strength card. This is not an easy situation or connection it, because I'm not picking up that it's confusing, but your, 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 your loyalty is being tested. But look at this card, how this woman is sitting on this lion. This person is very mighty and majestic. I'm hearing now, all I want is you. Ace of Cubs, this person's in love with you. They don't, they don't want anything else. They don't need anything else. They just want you. But remember the first card that is the anger card. You most likely are in this Queen of Swords energy because you may be looking at this person feeling like you may feel like they are testing you. And then you can, what it is, is you can pick up the fact that with the devil card, there is some type of secret here. Seven, you know that there is something this person is not telling you. There is some kind of secrecy. Something is restricted. You you know it, you can feel, I can feel it in this reading. Look at the King of Pentacles. It's something about this person's wealth. This card says power, empire, traditional This person has power. Either in the spirit, they're a very powerful person. But if that's the case, it's about to manifest into their 3D reality. I'm telling you, though, like they're going to share this with you. If you if you can pass the test, if you. Knight of Swords. This person is about to take some kind of risk very soon. They're going to be brave and take a, a risk. This is a, this person is very like take charge. They may even come off as a little bit aggressive at times. Look, nine of pentacles. See, right now you could already be financially stable and doing well on your own. But if you marry this person, you will become the queen of pentacles. And what did I just say? I just saw the king of pentacles. This person's like, yeah, you could, you could be the queen of their empire. They're perfectly fine with it. 
Because the type of money that this person comes from or that they're gonna have, they don't care about they don't care about money. This person either they they come from, they have, or they will have, as people say, F you money. They don't care about the money. They have so much of it or they're so used to it, they don't care about it. They don't. Or this person with the higher finger, they're just like their relationship with God, their their spiritual beliefs, they really, this is somebody who is not worried at all about the like 3D material things. That does not move this person. So you could be all very self-sufficient, stable, and abundant on your own. This person, they want to marry the queen of Pen They want to marry somebody who's very down to earth and grounded. They don't want to marry somebody that's materialistic. There you have it. King of Pentacles and the Hermit. This person is hiding. <laughs> this person is cloaking themselves. This person is, this person also has possibly separated themselves from some type of empire. Heavy Taurus energy. Virgo. This person is a loner. I'm telling this person's father could be very wealthy. They could come from like a, a wealthy, traditional, like affluent type of family. But this person with the hermit, they could have decided, I'm going to go on my own journey. Eight of Swords. This person is purposely keeping you in some kind of mental entrapment. They don't want you to know something about them. Mm -mm. They don't want you to know about this this money or something. Judgment. It's an awakening though. A wake up call. There's a change coming. The high priestess. This is like, yikes. The high priest is about secrets. You're about to find out about a secret. The death card is in reverse. It's, you, you can't avoid it. And the six of cups. You're about to find out something about this person's past. Or one of you or both of you is about to find out maybe who you were in a past life. You and this person were like a royal couple in a past life is what I feel. Wow. Look at look at how this how this is. It's the eight of wands in the reverse, but look at the image of the car, how it looks like she's just coming up finally. And it looks like her hair is on fire. You know what I'm getting right now? You know, like the hair, people always say, um, like your hair holds memories. This person, her hair looks like it's on fire, and she's literally she's in it looks like she's in water. Yeah. I've never really looked at this card, but there is a person down here. Okay. Somebody's memories. So you or this person is about to realize who you are to one another. And I feel like you're some type of like royal couple, royal divine couple. This is taking some kind of deep dive, but... It's an awakening. You see this human person, but you see how this person's body looks so large. And then this person is here. I said somebody is very, 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 very mighty and powerful. Fire and water. Something is happening in Sagittarius. It's a yin and yang balance. There could be a Sagittarius here, but somebody is waking up. Scorpio, lots of Scorpio energy. Scorpio and Sagittarius energy. 
Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Taurus is out here heavy. You could have a Taurus in your energy and another person. There's still, there is some kind of conflict or battle between a past person and someone new. One of these people could be a Taurus. You know, Taurus is, you know, usually care a lot about money. They have a natural knack to be very resilient and to make money. But it's somebody else out here who is very, very powerful. This is like so intense. I mean, the energy that I'm picking up is so, so intense. And it is just like somebody cannot hide this anymore. I don't know if somebody has been trying to hide the fact that they're very spiritual. But even like with this Phoenix card here, this man and this Phoenix, this person could be going through some type of spiritual awakening. This card says, man, it says... A man friend enters your life, a male romantic interest. A man will assist you. A man plays a key role. This man is, for some of you, this man is going to change your life, the phoenix. Anything in your life that you felt was lost or destroyed, it's being restored. But it's being restored through this connection in a way. Because of who this person is. And it is it has a lot to do with who this person is spiritually. You could be feeling defeated, but here comes this new love. This person is, is coming here. Like it's like this person is coming from a different place, a different land, a different like like they're coming from literally like a past life. Like, let me go and get this divine feminine. Let me go get let me go get him or her. Because we're supposed to be royal we're supposed to be a royal divine couple like let me go get let me go get my baby it's pretty like this person's like we're supposed to be stars like it's time we're supposed this person's like we're supposed to be stars you know what too this could even be like some kind of look seven seven is here wow seven of cups and the chariot wow you know what I was about to say? You could be seeing 717 or even 7177 or 777. Some of you, this is a very strong past life connection. You and this person have pent up anger from being separated before. When you meet this person, y'all may have disagreements and clash. And in the, it, it has nothing to do with anything in your life now. You and this person have unresolved anger pent up from when y'all separated in a previous lifetime. I'm telling you, look at this at the bottom of this deck, money and finance. It's something about money. Look at this, timing issues, money, finances, and timing issues, but this is your divine flame. You and this person, at times, you're at odds. There's some kind of karmic energy you're, you feel like you was wronged by this person because y'all separated. Either earlier in this lifetime or in a previous life, you're like, we separated. And some it's pointing the blame. It's your fault why we separated or whatever. But look, gifts and offer, vacation and travel. This person's like, don't worry about it. I got you. Don't worry about it. Whatever happened in the past life, don't worry about it. I'm here now. It's like this person, like, I know, baby, you was, you was crying in the Honda, but trust me. Trust me. I'm, I'm coming back with the Bentley now. Don't worry. I got you. Don't worry about it. You don't know something about this person. If this is a new person, you don't know something about them or you have no idea how your future is going to unfold with this person. I'm not really picking up a past person. I feel like for some of you in the past, you had somebody... Um, you thought it was going to lead to marriage, but it didn't. And I feel like the universe, God is gifting you with this person. That's the real deal. Now, look, magnetic souls. It's a sacred bond. Look, accountability. You and this person, are you're pissed. Like, how? why did you leave me in a past? This is sort of like, you know, when you meet somebody, you're like, wow, where have you been my whole life? To the point, like, you get upset. Like, you mean to tell me I've been out here struggling all this time? And it was a person like you out here. <laughs> that's a, 
divine you, you're like, you mean to tell me that you just been walking the earth and you just now come to find me? <laughs> it's so cute. Miss chances and harvest. Yeah, somebody is like, let me figure out what I need to do, how I need to go and tell this divine feminine that, that I really got them. Like, that I'm here, that I'm I'm gonna be the one to change their life. Bringing in this harvest. Ready for love, love at first sight. And playfulness. This person may like to play. This person could be a gamer. They may really like to play. Playfulness is out here in two different decks. This says having more fun in life, not late, not taking life too serious. So again, no matter what this person has, they don't want to take life too serious. Enjoying the little things in life, careful not to go overboard. This person, no matter what they have, they've been taught not. I feel like for some of you, this person is. The kind of things that I'm hearing, this person knows the word of God very well. They don't believe in overindulging. They don't believe in idolizing money and stuff like that. They have it. Like this person, they have the favor of God, but they don't. This is a very modest person. That's the word I'm looking for. They enjoy simple things. Patience. Yeah, you're about to get clarity. You're about to get clarity soon about why you've had to patiently wait on this. This was worth waiting for. Even if you haven't met this person yet, like I said, when you meet, you're going to be like, wow. So this was the best part because this person brings you a new chapter of life that's full of freedom and they're going to court you. This could be somebody that you're dealing with right now and they're taking things so slow with you. And you're like, why are you going so slow? This person they're dating you like they want to date you with the intention to marry you is what I'm getting. It's a courtship. Somebody is not just dating you because they want to sleep with you and they want to hang. They're really trying to see like, can you be my lover? Can you be my homie? Can you be my best friend? Like this person, again, it's something about like the, the, like the word of God or something like this person, when they say for better or for worse, rich or poor, they, 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 this is somebody who is so serious about wedding vows. I'm telling you, they don't believe in divorce. Like they're trying to make sure if I get with you, like you need to know you stuck with me forever. <laughs> like this person is serious. They're like, once you get in, you don't get out with me. But they want to live their life giving you the best life. Like they want you to have the world. They they want to give you everything. It's like this part, they feel like that's their duty. And I'm telling you, the stuff I'm hearing, it's like, you know how people say, a man should love his husband as Christ loves the church. That's what I'm hearing. Like, this is they, they take that seriously. Like, whoever this is, they're very, very, very marriage-minded, like, very godly. This person could, could have, like, even a prophetic gift with their crystal ball there. This person has been through some things. And in your connection, if this person's in your life with dating and crossroads here and up in the air, you're like, what are we doing? You're thinking that this person is like playing around or something. This person is, is like playing in their whole life with you. This again, this is not everybody's story. I feel like the people who resonate with this, you will know. This is not somebody who is toxic and they're somewhere else married and playing games and love bombing you. No. This is somebody who is, is if they're hiding something, they're hiding it to protect themselves, to be honest. If this person is hiding something about like their money, their family, their will, it's to protect themselves. Which means, obviously, they have a lot to lose. You may not like it. But I feel like once you get more clarity about it, you will better understand. And there's something here with timing. I feel like this person is telling themselves, you know, normally by, you know, the three or four month mark, stuff goes wrong. Or, you know, normally by six months, 
I think I kind of know a person. This person is right, waiting on the right time to tell you something. Or they're waiting on an investment or something to come in. Or they're waiting to receive something. It's still something here with legalities too. This is paperwork, contracts, money, deals. Like they're waiting on something. This person is very, very smart. I just heard the word, they're a real scholar. This person is very smart. And I'm telling you, <laughs> you will walk past this person and you will never, ever know. You will never know. This is the kind of person, I don't know why I keep getting this whole Honda Bentley thing. This is the kind of person who will go to the store every day in a Honda. And you'll, and you'll if you follow them home, they'll have an eight-car garage multi-million dollar car collection and you, you will have no idea because you just saw them at Target and Honda. Seriously. This person is purposely trying to make sure that people don't recognize them. 